what is going on guys and welcome to bootstrap custom theme series in this series we're going to be exploring and creating or here it is bootstrap theme right and i'm just going to scroll down kind of quickly just to show all the things we'll be doing and after that i'm going to return and we're going to actually have a look at each section separately now we'll be working with a multiple jquery plugins we're going to be working with obviously bootstrap we're going to be working with a uh, HTML, CSS, and we're going to be working with a little bit of jQuery. And also we're going to be using uh, CSS libraries, right? Like Font Awesome, or here you can see that this is a OWL jQuery plugin, right? And we're also going to be creating forms and embedding maps over here like this. And after that, this is going to be the footer over here. And if I just press it over here, it actually slides all the way back to the top now i said it purposely that it's really slow but obviously after watching this video you're going to be able to actually do it yourself however you would want right so you don't need to do it my slow version i just like this kind of slow scroll just so it's it's actually a little bit better for me looking and over here what i'm going to do is you can see that it's actually fully responsive right so if i go to the smaller screen right i still have the same thing right so i'm just going to make uh again the bigger screen and we're just going to go section by section what we have over here right so we start over here with this banner that actually has a background image and you can see that we placed our header right in in the center right so we're going to check it out how we can do that but it's exactly in the middle in the center and you can see that as, as i'm actually scrolling up and down it has this parallel parallax effect right that uh, back actually background is moving slower than the front right so we're going to check out how to do that over here you can see a bootstrap nav bar over here and you'll actually see how we can actually customize it right so it's uh, not a basic one but we we're going to be adding some features to it now after that you can see over here this is going to be the link if we press over here that it smoothly smoothly scrolls down and you can see over here how the nav bar is also changing right so if i just go a little bit down you can see the nav bar how it's actually turning a transparent black right and also as what's happening as we're scrolling down the services right you can see that this is going to be the scroll sprite from bootstrap right so if we go to the promise over here you can see that it's right away lights and lights up a color right and also in this series we're going to be covering how to get a pictures for a bootstrap how to pick a font how to pick a color so there's going to be a lot of other things too not just a basic html css bootstrap and jquery so there we're going to be covering a lot a lot of things in this series now after that i also want to show you how the animate css works right so if i just refresh the page and you can see that how everything is sliding in right from left to right and this one is zooming in so this is what we'll be getting with a animate css so you can see over here this uh, header is coming in now the service section you know is sliding from left to right and over here with the promise you can see that and they're actually fading in from uh, bottom right and over here again we're getting this effect with this picture over here like this where we're scrolling up and down you can see that it has that parallax effect right so which one is really cool over here you can see that this is going to be our skill section so we're going to be working with a bootstrap progress bars or here we're just going to be creating a little like a jumbotron right so for our web page let's say somebody or bootstrap theme i'm sorry somebody would want to get a quote right they can just technically right away press the quote over here this is going to be our work section we're all going to be covering how with css and bootstrap we can create over here this gallery and you can see that how it has this zoom in effect right and over here we're going to be using a magnificent uh magnific pop-up from the jquery so over here if i click it right you can see over here that i'm actually have right away gallery right and also i'm going to show you how to work with a bootstrap extensions like in this case i was actually using a bootstrap extension lorem pixel which actually allows us to get a image uh, without even downloading we can just get an extension and we can actually get a custom images over here and i'm going to show you all the nice features about that 
uh, brackets extension. And in general, we're going to be actually covering uh, a lot of brackets extensions and how they can help our work. So this is going to be our team section with our knees over here. You can see the Arnold. This is going to be our team president. And we're going to be working with Font Awesomes. So over here you can see these social icons. We're obviously going to be creating them with, so, uh, with a Font Awesome. Over here we're going to be using a jQuery plugin that is actually, you can see that as the numbers are going up, right, that's going to be a number counter over here like this. So this is, let's say, going to be a supposedly a, this is how many users we have, and this is all the users I put, just different Font Awesome icons. Now, I was uh, lazy, you can say, because I wasn't customizing over here anything like this. So as you can see, if I go up, up here, you can see that I named them all of them service, right? And this is going to be a lorem ipsum, right? However, you'll after this series, you'll be able to do it uh, your own. So I don't see a really massive point of actually creating one by one if, if you're going to be customizing it anyway, right? The most important thing is obviously for you to actually know how to, to make this and then obviously you can do it your own. Now over here, this is going to be our pricing section. We're all just going to be using, we're going to be working with a bootstrap panels over here like this. So we're going to be creating again like a pretty basic uh, pricing uh, plan or something like that, right? And again, over here you'll be able to change all this so it's actually more custom. But the main point is actually for you to get this idea, right? Now, after that, we're going to create with our carousel. This is going to be, let's say, what they say about us, right? So a little, like a little quote section. So here, if I click it, right, it's actually moving. And obviously, again, you'll be able to customize it with the different pictures. Right now, I have three pictures of a Donald Trump who is actually, you know, saying something about us in Laura Mipsum. And hopefully, it's not something bad knowing him. And over here, we're going to create our customers, right? So here, I just created a fake logo, Fast Banana, or whatever. But again, you'll be able to put as many companies in different companies as you want. And over here, you can see what's happening, right? Then if I click it, actually, it's it's moving. Because again, we're going to be using our carousel for that. Now, after that, and this is going to be our form section, where basically we have our form, which is going to be filling out the first name, last name, phone number, email. This is going to be the text area for message. This is going to be a simple Google Maps. This is going to be over here, the submit button. And over here, you can see that this is going to be our footer that has a, again, the font awesome icons and just the basic copyright, right? And if I just, again, scroll up, press over here, you can see that, again, I set it really, really slow just because I like it that way. But you'll be able to customize it however you would want. But you can see that it's doing the job that it's actually scrolling up and down. And as we actually go all the way up to the banner, I just want to show you that this, let's say this link, right? Actually, as we press it, it takes us to work, right? So if we click it back, we're actually going to start slowly, slowly again, zooming back up. Now, it might get a little annoying, right? If you have to deal with that a lot, but uh, just for the, for the sake of it, uh, I'm just going to keep it this way for, for this series. And obviously, if I just click over here, this bouncing button, right? You can see that it's actually bouncing all the time, right? So if I click it, it actually takes, takes us down to our site, right? And I just want to, again, remind that this is this nav bar. You can see how nicely it is actually transforming only in, as we're scrolling up and down, right? And just to show you that I'm not uh, making this up, this is going to be the brackets. This is going to be the index HTML. This is, you can see, our actual index file. And you can see a lot of things that we're already adding, right? So this is going to be the basic bootstrap. Or here, this is going to be a links that we're going to be using for our carousel for Google fonts. This is going to be animate CSS. This is going to be a scroll press. And this is going to be magnific pop-up. This is going to be the gallery. This is going to be the font awesome, right? And this is going to be a like uh, our main CSS file, right? So I called it store, but uh, probably during this video, I'm going to call it something differently. Here, you're going to see some of the extensions that we're going to be using. And I'm actually going to make a separate video about the extensions that we're going to be using. And over here, you can see the sections that we have, right? We have a nav bar, and then there's going to be a banner. 
and all that and let me just go all the way down just to show you uh, along those lines what we have right and this is going to be our jquery and javascript right so here this is going to be wow gs that's going to be working with animate uh, css right this is for all the zoom ins and slide ins and fade ins and all that this is going to be the owl carousel um, javascript this is going to be a num scroller right this is going to be where we have that section we're actually over here we have this uh this one over here so if i just refresh right you can see that um num scroller right these numbers going up and down this is what this is going to be this num scroller uh, jquery plugin then after that is going to be scroll press that's the one that's actually scrolling up and down and here this is going to be the magnific pop-up this is going to be the gallery and last but not least we're going to create our own custom js and again we're we'll probably going to call this file differently but over here you can see that if we go to javascript over here like this you can see that this is going to be our custom js and you can see that all the things we'll be doing it's actually not that not that much right we have like a, i think like four or something like that or five because some of them are really easy but we're going to be covering how to get those uh, plugins how to install them how to, how to work with them so we're going to be covering a lot a lot of things in this video um in this series i'm sorry not in this video so in this video this is just an introduction um i think this is enough of me talking we're actually going to fire up our text editors and we're going to get to work thank you very much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,